I saw a film that inspired me so much that I couldn't move. I remember sitting in the theater and just knowing in that moment I wanted to be exactly like that girl that inspired me so much. I saw this movie at a time in my life that was one of the most challenging times I've probably ever been through. I had just broken my hand, had surgery, and had to let go of what was my entire life, which at the time was a competitive gymnast, and also feel like I was letting down my best friend and my mom because it was it was her life too. I walked right out of that theater and I got right into acting and dancing and singing classes and worked my ass off every single day. Like, that's all I wanted to do. I barely slept all through high school because I was just taking classes all the time. I ended up moving out to LA on a performing arts scholarship program. I was scared out of my mind. I was 18 in Hollywood. I didn't know anybody. All I did all day long was act, dance, and sing. And I couldn't work, I couldn't have an agent, I couldn't audition, and it was one of the hardest programs I've ever done, but the best thing and the best, <laughs> the best opportunity that I could have taken. As soon as I got done with that program, I remember seeing a casting call on the wall for the sequel to the film that changed my life. It was Center Stage 2. And I remember seeing that on the wall thinking, no way, like there's no way <laughs> that is my movie. Like Center Stage was my movie that changed my life. And the whole reason why I was had this mission and this drive and this, this dream to be an actress and to inspire, I remember I went home and I wasn't going to go. And then I remember sitting in my room and I just, I swear, I just heard and felt this voice that you have to go. And I grabbed my bags and I went and six auditions later, I got to play the lead in the sequel to the film that changed my life. And if that is not a story about the power that we all have to manifest and to achieve our goals and our dreams, then I don't know what is. All I want to do is use that story to inspire anyone that has a really big goal or a dream that you can do it, that you can work hard every single day, that you can get better every single day, and you can make your dreams a reality. And I will never forget that whole roller coaster ride of emotions of going in six different times for the, the sequel to the movie that <laughs> that changed your life. The way that I felt and feeling so close but yet so far from like this huge dream that I had. And sitting on the plane going to Vancouver to film it, you know, looking out over the world underneath me just being like, oh my gosh, I'm so grateful. I had a new mission, like I want to use this story to help anybody that I can and know that you can achieve really big things and to not have lim these limiting beliefs that hold all of us back. And I just believe so much in the power that we all have to achieve and to live the lives that we want to live, to wake up every single day so excited because you get to do what you love. You get to create your life the way that you want to live it. I just want to be that girl that inspires people and if I can inspire even one person one maybe little kid that's watching this right now to keep believing, to never give up, to know that you can do it. Like you can absolutely do it and if people are telling you that you're crazy and that you can't do it, don't listen. I know I love looking at life from this, with this childlike curiosity of questioning everything. Like why do we stop questioning things? Like when we were younger we used to ask why all the time? Like why don't we do that and why don't we do that to ourselves? Like when, when we have these thoughts and these stories that we're telling ourselves, like. Maybe we believe things that are holding us back. Why, why do we believe them? Do we ever question, question those thoughts? Because so many of the thoughts that we think really do hold us back. So every thought that comes through my mind, I'm always making sure that I'm questioning it, saying, okay, is, is that really true? And have I tested that truth? And I just think life is this, can be this magical experience. I really believe that you are the actor, the writer, the producer of your own movie. If you are living your own movie and you're writing your own story. What are you gonna write today? Like, are you gonna write yourself into this victim character? Or are you gonna write yourself into this empowering, awesome, leading action hero role? I mean, that is what I wanna be, not only in my real life, but in my career. I mean, I love action roles so much. And I think growing up as a gymnast and a dancer and an athlete, I mean, <laughs> I love to fight. Like, I just love it. Like, I get so lost. I mean, I could go to, 
a boxing session and be there for hours and, and feel like it was two minutes. Like I just have this weird obsession with fighting and I love these like badass empowering action roles so much and that would definitely be my, my dream to be like that action hero, that action hero girl for sure.